is Caleb Barney with Russell Real Estate, and today I wanted to share with you a quick little infographic, uh, basically showing you why it's going to be more affordable to buy a home this year than it has been over the past, say, 18 uh, months or so. And uh, there's no question that affordability has been hit pretty hard, uh, especially from, I'd say, the midpoint of 2022, uh, all the way, and it continues today, but I do think that it's going to be more affordable to buy a home this year compared to other points in the past 18 months. And really, there's a couple of reasons why. So why don't we dig into this a little more? Um, the first thing, because really there's only three things that affect affordability. The first one is going to be interest rates. Um, mortgage rates are down from their recent peak. So depending on what, uh, what charts you're using, Interest rates basically peaked in the third to fourth week in October, and you'll see here it's showing that it topped out at 7.79%. I actually, uh, I use Mortgage News Daily, and uh, that just takes the national average, and it takes into account if you're buying points and stuff like that, too. Um, and basically, their uh, average 30-year fix nationally hit just over 8% in that third week in uh, October of 2023. So we topped out at 8%. You know, you could see it's been steadily declining since then. And really what the Fed has uh, showed us is that they are anticipating making at least three uh, rate cuts to the federal funds rate, which doesn't directly affect mortgage rates. But indirectly, it does. Um, and that's where we are hoping to see interest rates drop down even further than where they are today. Uh, in fact, actually, Fannie Mae recently projected that by the end of 2024, they're expecting mortgage rates to possibly be below 6%, which would be crazy. Um, so that would be a good thing. Obviously, lower interest rates is going to help uh, affordability. The second thing, and this is, again, they're coming from a national lens, uh, keeping current matters is, um, but they are expecting home prices to rise at a slower pace. Again, there is a difference between, uh, you know, home price appreciation that is decelerating versus home price depreciation. So depreciation is uh, basically saying that your home value or your home price is going down. Uh, only one of the major uh, entities that they surveyed or that they looked at the uh, home price forecasts uh, forecasted a depreciation, and that's actually from Realtor.com. I made a previous video on this where they are... They're, <laughs> Their numbers didn't really make sense to me. They're saying that there's going to be uh, constrained supply, higher demand, yet somehow uh, you know home prices are going down. And that's not typically what happens when demand exceeds supply. So when you have too many buyers for too few homes, usually that's going to keep prices uh, basically where they're at or slightly increasing. And that's what you're seeing from all of these other... Uh, industry experts here. So the average of all eight industry experts are saying that home prices should increase about 2.1%. That's what they're for. Uh, they're forecasting for 2024, which is great. Um, again, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Housing and owning uh, real estate is a great hedge against inflation because typically your home value is going to go up uh, every single year, and you want it to be basically keeping in line with inflation. So the Fed, uh, their target is hitting 2%. If home prices are going up 2.1%, that's basically keeping pace with inflation, slightly beating inflation, which is what you want as a homeowner. You don't want to buy a house and then it, it be worth less at the end of the year. Um, so home prices are expected to rise, but at a slower pace much different than what we saw in 2020, 2021, and even the first part of 2022, where, uh, you know, I serve the greater Cleveland area, and we were seeing double-digit returns as far as year-over-year -year 
home price appreciation, which again, that's just not healthy and it makes it less and less affordable for those looking to get into home ownership. And then lastly, wages are increasing faster than usual. So again, this is a great thing. Um, we want to see wages increasing. We don't want it to go crazy um, because again, we want to keep inflation in check, but, uh, but we want wages to consistently go up over time. So here, what we're looking at is the uh, wage index trend line, or trend line, I apologize about that, and then the actual wage index. So we want to see uh, this following that trend line, and ideally, we'd actually like to see that uh, just slightly above that trend line. But again, I'm not going to complain if you're making more money, um, you know, interest rates are still higher than what we got accustomed to, although historically speaking, they are basically right in line. They're actually a little below uh, the historical average of about 7%. But um, but yeah, that, that's a good thing that wages are increasing, that mortgage rates are decreasing, and that home prices are slowing down, although still staying positive. Because again, you don't want to buy an asset and have it immediately lose uh lose value. So that's the bottom line for why I think housing is going to become more affordable this year. If you're looking to buy a home, whether it's for your primary residence, a vacation home or second home, or if you're looking to buy or sell an investment property, uh, especially in the greater Cleveland or Northeast Ohio area, reach out to me. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have give you any guidance, and then obviously uh, I would be here to help with that purchase or sale as well. Again, this is Caleb Barney with Russell Real Estate, and have a great day.